Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, just a quick little uh, year in review and also about five little things around the shop that you can do to help productivity or just make life a little bit easier. So let's get started. On the list I wanted to do was get a little bit of heat out here in the shop. Uh, it's real hard for me to get motivated to come out here in the winter time uh, just because it gets so cold and really once I get moving around and everything, every, it, the temperature is fine. But it's just that first initial hour or two, it's just really cold out here. and It's hard for me to get motivated to come out here for a longer project. So the first thing I wanted to do was get some heat. Uh, this heater was given to me and um, it might just take the edge off of the shop coldness to, uh, you know, help me get motivated to come out here during the winter time. So the second thing I wanted to show you is this, uh, it's actually a product that I want to show you. It's called Cortipillar. And what it is, is just to uh, hide your cords uh, from laying on the floor and potentially being a trip hazard. Uh, I've been meaning to do this for a very long time and just never really found the right product to do this with. And this came across, I just happened to walk by it in the store and it looked perfect, it looked durable enough, and it looked like something I didn't have to really fuss with a whole lot. It took a matter of maybe 10 minutes to put both sections of this quarter pillar down and I got it to run in from my, uh, the wall to my assembly bench and I also got it from the wall to my table saw over on the other side of the shop. And it's already made a, a big difference. Uh, I've walked across it. I don't feel any uh, difference, but I do feel a little bit safer uh, not tripping over those cords. The third thing on the list is a paper towel holder. Man, I can't tell you how many times I've walked around the shop. I've had a paper towel in my hand, and it was all the way across the shop, and uh, the roll I needed was over on the other side or, or whatever. Uh, but having two dedicated places for paper towels is perfect for me. One of them is pretty much dead center of the shop and the other one is over by the lathe where I use the paper towels the most. So I have two places for paper towels now and that was a long, long, long overdue project. And it only took a couple pieces of scrap and about 10 minutes each, if that. Another project I want to show you is uh, a place for my portioner bits. I, for a long time I've had portioner bits up underneath the counter right behind me, uh, the green screen here actually, and it, it was okay, it was out of the way, but it was kind of hard to see which ones I actually had up there. And because it was tucked way up underneath the counter and you kind of had to bend down and look around. So on this one, I just took that whole assembly down from the wall. I took it inside the house. I measured everything. I, I put a little piece of scrap wood in SketchUp, and I laid out all the holes. I printed a one-to-one -one drawing, and I drilled out all the holes for the Forstner bits. That way, they're evenly spaced, and they fit really nice in the drawer. And I'm already using it, and I already love it. So if you need a home for your Forstner bits, this might be a good way to do that and make it look good and save some more space. The other one I want to show you, it is, it's an app actually. It's called Centric IQ. And what you can do with this app is quite a bit of stuff really. Uh, the, what I'm going to use it for is for the shop. I can take pictures of my tools and I can take pictures of the serial number or the model number or whatnot and that information goes out to Centric IQ. They'll download the uh, user manual and all that stuff and put it into the app for me. So essentially all I have to do is just walk around the shop, find out what tools I really need on that and take a picture of them. And what you can do with this is you can actually label your whole house, um, for instance, kitchen or any electrical items. Uh, I got my shop up here that I'm, I'm working on right now. So I can hit 
add up here and I can go over to my tool and add photos to my tools and add the nameplate, add my receipt for the tool, uh, you know, data purchase, even download the manual. So what this will do is when I'm at a store and I see something that uh, kind of jogs my memory that I got to buy for a particular tool, say like sandpaper or a saw blade or you know accessory or something, but I don't really remember the uh, item that I need, the specific item that I need for that particular tool. I can refer to this app and pull up my particular sander and I can get my uh, serial number and my model number. I got a picture of what it is and I could actually pull up the uh, owner's manual as well to find out what size sandpaper that it requires or what size saw blade it requires or uh, you know what kind of accessories that it needs. I also got my uh, planer that I've already done so I can refer to the manual to find out what size blades I need if I'm at a store. So I think this app will come in handy. I'm going to walk you through one of the processes right now. So I'm going to hit, uh, I'm under MF Wood Shop. So I'm going to hit the plus button and go to appliance or item. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to take a picture of it. I'm going to add that to the thing. I'm going to label it. Grizzly drum sander and my nickname for that tool would be the same in my case you can name it whatever you want I'm going to save it now I'm going to pull that back up I'm also going to add a nameplate and I'm going to take a picture of the actual nameplate itself with the serial number and everything. I'm going to use that photo. I'm going to crop it down just a little bit. I don't need all that extra stuff in there. Put done. And now since this tool isn't exactly in the database, I don't have all the information yet. So what Centric IQ does is it takes that nameplate and searches the internet or does, his, does whatever magic they do. And then eventually they'll download and install the manual for me. And if I had a picture of the receipt for this particular uh, sander, I could add that in as well or any other information that I would like to add. I can see a big advantage to this if you're going to like a woodworking show and they have some products up there and you just don't remember what model number uh, tool you have to get the right accessory that you need at a woodworking show. This will come in real handy when that happens. I uh, can't tell you how many woodworking shows I came across. Find a good deal on a table saw insert, but was always afraid to buy it because I didn't want to buy the wrong one, and you can hardly ever return that stuff. So this time I'm gonna, <laughs> this year I'm gonna be ready for that. So a good app for that. Year in review. This has been an awesome year for MF Woodshop. I cannot thank you guys uh, enough for all the support and all the stuff that you guys has done for me buying my plans support me on patreon just donations just showing love for likes and shares and subscribes uh, just cannot thank you guys enough um, my subscriber count has grown quite a bit this year and I'm hoping to double it uh, this time next year so I'm hoping to be in the 20 to 25,000 subscribers this time next year. Um, I think that's a reasonable goal and 
uh, I just really can't thank you guys enough. Uh, you know, people talk about trolls on uh, on their channels a lot, but you know, I have the best subscribers in the world because I don't I don't get a whole lot of that. Once in a while, I'll get a jerk off that uh, says something, but it, it it really doesn't happen that often, and that that's due to you guys. Uh, you guys watch my channels and. You are my core audience, and you know, for that, I love you guys, and I can't thank you guys enough. Um, plans for next year I do have a couple big uh, projects that I want to do next year. It's really going to just depend on money. I want to build a gazebo, uh, a big gazebo, um, six sided gazebo, and each side is going to be, I want it eight foot long. So it's going to be huge, and I've always wanted to build one, I've always wanted one in the backyard, and I'm hoping this year is going to be that time to do that. Also, since the completion of the miter station wall, I got the back side of the garage complete, uh, I want to work on the window side of the garage, which is right behind the green screen. Um, I'm thinking about redoing all the cabinets underneath, and uh, essentially making the same thing, just updating the look and uh, putting more drawers in. I'm really, really liking the drawers in the miter station wall and I'm thinking about just going all drawers instead of any cabinets at all. Um, I just think that's a better solution and with full extension drawer slides, there, there's no reason not to be able to get to everything uh, without digging around and messing around with all that stuff. So I'm really considering that. I haven't made any plans for that, um, but I do have kind of the idea of rolling around in my head. Uh, a couple things I do want to do next year, and one of them will probably happen for sure, is I do want to get a six or an eight inch joiner, uh, a fairly good size one. Uh, probably Grizzly uh, be my guess. I, I really don't know. Um, been looking at the Jets and I've been looking at the Grizzlies and I've been looking at the Paramatics. Um, so probably one of those will happen next year. And if funds allow it, uh, I would like to upgrade the miter saw and upgrade the table saw next year as well. Uh, it just really depends on the funds and uh, what all comes about. So that's my plans for 2018. I'll have uh, pretty much weekly videos next year as well. Um, this year I only missed maybe a few weeks, so I uploaded uh, well over 50 videos this year, and I uh, encourage you to take a look at the archive and uh, uh, get caught up if you're just joining us now. <laughs> um, but that's all I got for you this week. I really hope you enjoyed this. Five simple things you could do around the shop just to you know, pass the time or just to get some shop time in and the cold weather and um, a year in review. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.